AVA Sports, sponsoring live stream action for contenders. What's your fight ending submission? Introducing to you first, by leading into the red corner, from Assassins. Put hands together for Demontas Matalevusha! <laughs> and to play standing across the cage in the blue corner, from Exiles Gym. Give it up for Angelo AJ Antonio! This K1 contest will be four over three two-minute rounds. K1 action, 70 kilogram division. Contenders 18, we have Demantis Matalavicious out of the red corner. From the Assassin's Gym versus Angelo AJ Antonio from Exile's Gym in the blue. Yeah, I'm looking for these fighters, two explosive fighters in there. AJ Antonio particularly known for his explosion. Demantis, we saw in the last contenders, can take a big shot and he's explosive as well. So let's see how this plays out. AJ looks huge in there compared to Demantis, doesn't he? Antonio cuts, cuts weight, but he's got his diet on point, especially for this fight. He's really made sure he's got the great, the good nutritionist behind him and to maintain that size and that lean muscle mass that you need for power in the fight. Nice body kick there. Oh, Mantis looks hurt. Heavy shots. He sticks his tongue out on AJ, but again, that probably means he's hurt. The Mantis now needs to find a way in. He's to check these kicks in that mid-range, move his head, come into the pocket and get out. Can't afford to be on the end of Antonio's reach like that. Serious disadvantage in terms of size and reach, doesn't he? He's going to have to work his way inside. Slip. Oh, goes the head kick. Nice. AJ blocks it well. Tony looking calm and collected. However, he needs to switch it up. Fire that jab out. Couple up with some heavy body kicks or right hands. He to, hey, there we go. The head kick goes up top. Beautiful. Antonio's corner, noticeably, you can hear them saying, keep calm. They want him to pick his shots, the right opportunities, and stay tight. He's very composed at the moment, isn't he? He is taking his time. Got to make sure he keeps his hands up in these exchanges, though. Yeah. Dropped his hands in that exchange. <laughs> nice jab, low kick there from Demantis. And again, blasting away that lead leg. Oh! Hey. Big right hand from Demantis oh. at the bell. Kick at the bell. Kick at the bell. Yeah. After the bell. <laughs> wow. So Demantis still showing that he's in this fight. He's waiting for that opportunity. He needs to make sure he keeps tight and look for the counter shots. Antonio needs to keep those hands up and keep Demantis busy. Yeah, Demantis got a little bit of offense going at the end there, didn't he? Um, Lands a couple of nice leg kicks, a nice uh, punch as well. But otherwise, you have to say Antonio, that was his round. He's very composed. He's huge in there. Compared to that was the body kick that seemed to hurt him. And he went back and got a flurry of punches. Nice kick, but it was blocked by Demantis. And he circled out with a smile. Yeah. Demantis again on the outside, looking for that leg kick. He's to set that up, because he's the fighter with a shorter reach in this particular fight. Antonio, a little bit tentative. We'll have to see him really put a stamp on and go after what he wants. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, if he 
say De Mans is a huge disadvantage in terms of reach. He's got to work away, find a way inside. And that puts himself in the danger zone. So let's see how he can solve this problem in the second round. Round two, K1 action, big kick. Huge power from Antonio. He's sort of quiet, isn't he? And then he explodes. Commander's firing back, just misses that head kick himself. Then uh, the man needs to chop away that lead leg. Just to think about going up top, feigning the jab. Boom, just yeah, like yeah. that. Beautiful. Nice, nice. teeth as well. Nice combo there. Low kick into teeth. Demantis is a technical powerhouse. He waits for the ample opportunity. And his technique is oh, pretty sound. Oh, that buckled the knee there, Mark. That is beautiful. He's waiting for AJ to step in with a jab and he's slamming in that low kick. And Tony needs to think about setting these strikes up. Move that head, not yeah, be there for that like kick. He needs to check that kick, Mark. Absolutely. You can see already the, the reddening visible on AJ's lead leg. That's going to slow him down and impact on his explosiveness. And you say with the loading up to throw the big right hands, he's not be able to power as much off that lead leg. Look for Dementis to try and lure Antonio in and hit with some big left hook there. Big left hook power shots. He's looking to place the power shots, looking for the knockout. He's trying to draw Antonio in. Nice head kick attempt there from Dementis. I'd like to see him keep on with the low kick, so. A little slip there from Dementis. He's really looking for this knockout. Dementis is trying to set it up, but Antonio gauging the distance well. Yeah, he doesn't want to rush. He wants to keep going for that leg kick. Keep going with what he's working for. Him. He's still got to keep active. He's got to keep scoring. He can't let Dementis just fire off and then move out of range. Real oh! quick attempt. But Amanda's. Now Antonio shall return the favour. That went high just at the bell. Beautiful display of the kicking techniques. They're just so comfortable inside this cage. They're able to fire off those aesthetically pleasing techniques. And if they land, they are accountable for a knockout. So exciting prospects here in the Contenders 18. Just speaking actually of the, uh, the last fight. People are still talking on Twitter about that knockout. In fact, we had a guy call himself Superman on Twitter. So it's King George MMA with a brutal head kick KO at Contenders MMA. Set up lovely, no stopping that. And then he's hashtag Contenders18. And long live the king. That's obviously his nickname, King George. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a head kick you'll probably see Beautiful. a few times. Get involved, guys. If you're watching at home, let us know. Contenders MMA on Instagram, on Twitter. Add us on Facebook. Get involved. So let's see how this final round plays out. Durant has certainly had success in that second round with the leg kicks. It's an offensive of his own. AJ. Yeah, I love that. And there's water <laughs> on the floor. And he's, and he's just he's butt scooting. I've never seen that before. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. He's, he's a caring, sharing fighter. He's a caring, He's so calm and collected, he's able to think, think outside the box and actually be funny in yeah, the fight. Absolutely. Round three, here we go. Let's see if Demantis now can close. That was a head kick that nearly landed flush. That was so close. And Tony needs to be careful in those exchanges. He needs to keep his hand up. There's another leg kick landed in there from Demantis. And again, oh, he's going low and then high. Demantis now firing in these like baseball bats, going low, going high. He's not letting Antonio utilize that reach. It's easy to wait on the outside and wait for him to. Oh! Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh. Oh, it him up for a flying triangle there. That's the MMA creeping right yeah. there. Yeah, it'll get you, that bug will get you, man. Yeah, you can't, you can't spike, spike someone down like that, though. You're a K1, anyway. Yeah, he didn't get a warning for that, so... That man he's going to let this go on. See, Antonio come out with his hands up, and he said, make sure he keeps doing that in these exchanges. Fire leg kicks, double jab, nice body kick. Nice. Nice, now keep the distance, jab, use the jab for the distance. Set up that right hand. You see Demantis circling off there to his left. If Antonio could time that and fire in that rear kick, he could have some success, Mark. Absolutely. And this is fascinating. Demantis really so confident with his technique, and that those kicks must be hurt. You can see. 
the red, the red welt on the lead leg, as you alluded to earlier, but that's got a lot worse. Yeah. That's going to make him think twice about coming in. Oh, that's a nice kick. As you say, we just saw Antonio's leg at the front of the field of the page. That is jacked up, man. <laughs> Antonio loving it. Yeah. Getting tagged, and he wants some more. This is what he needs to do. Keep his hands up in these exchanges and fire off head kick. He needs to be more active in these exchanges. Don't let Demantis cover up and circle out and reset at his range. AJ's been relentless now as we get into the final seconds of the fight. Antonio smells blood! He's absolutely pouring for Demantis is covering up frantically. This guy's all over! Oh, he's giving him a standing eight right at the end. Wow. And that is going to be key, surely, in the scoring of the fight. That was the, that was a standing eight count there from the ref but the time ran out, but that was dangerously close for Antonio. Yeah, you'd have, and to, say, you'd have to say that Flory at the end with the standing eight count, that's probably sealed the fight through. But that was a, an interesting technical battle, wasn't it? See it from the replay, Dementis loading up for those punches, and this is when Antonio turns it on, watch, he comes firing through, blasting with kicks, controlling the distance there at range with his lead hand. Caught with a nice jab there, and then he just completely. This is where the flurry, off. yeah. This yeah. is ball, body kick, goes up top, hooks, punches, straights, body kick. Beautiful work from AJ Antonio. The man just can't get away, and then he lands an excellent right hand there, followed by a left hook. Down by the head, he stepped in for the eight count just as the bell sounded. Exciting stuff here. The man thinks he's done enough, up in the cage, winning the crowd over. I'd like to see that, but I'm not sure he's done enough. I think that last. Standing eight is going to be key. We'll see. Either way, both guys got on a show. Good to see. ABA Sports, sponsoring live stream action for contenders. What's your knockout combination?